I'll just pretty much run it the same exact way. Cool. All right, guys, welcome back to the Pop Culture Update. Today, or tonight, we have some casting updates for The Last of Us coming to HBO Max. Uh, now, this is based on a video game, correct? Yes, yes. This is based on a PlayStation exclusive, The Last of Us, made by Sony. Um, and yeah, it's going to be an HBO Max series. Awesome. Um, my name's Ty. This is Austin, and we're here to give you some exclusive Pop Culture Corner news, uh, as with everything that doesn't come straight from the studio. Obviously, take it with a grain of salt, and potential spoilers are, uh, you know, in the works. So if you don't want to have anything, anything ruined for you, maybe this video is not for you. But if it is for you, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe right. to the channel if it's your first time here. And share the show so your friends, family, and enemies can watch along with you. Consider becoming a member of the Pop Culture Corner and gain access to tons of exclusives, including behind-the-scenes footage, including behind-the-scenes footage, early access to podcasts, and I don't know anything else I can kind of think of. Um, so, with that being said, now we do have some characters here, and basically what the studios are looking for, and when the dates they'll be shooting are, uh, how many. Sometimes it even adds how many episodes that they'll be recurring for. Correct, um, yeah. So why don't we start it off, Austin, with uh, the first one. Awesome, yeah. Well, right here we have a uh, start off is Tess. is a reoccurring female, ages 40 to 49. Um, any ethnicity, uh, she's independent, a survivor, and has seen and done some bad things, but isn't cynical and has some guilt. Uh, she loves Joel, who's the main character, played by Pedro Pascal. And knows he doesn't reciprocate all of the love that, you know, she has. But okay. uh, her uh, filming dates would be in August 10th to November 10th uh, for three episodes uh, in a reoccurring role. And that makes sense. She does have kind of a minor role, but uh, she is a, a big part in the games. Um, so that, that makes sense that she would probably not be in the whole series, series oh. or season. Perfect, perfect. Um, next up, we have Sarah. Uh, not a lot here, but uh, a female um, <laughs> under or, you know, right in the beginning of the 20s, uh, Joel's daughter, um, you know, 18 to 20, I think it would be. And then it's a, it is a recurring role. It doesn't specify exactly how many episodes, but is she a big part of, I mean, she's the daughter, so I would assume that she's a big yes. part. Well, she's actually not a big part as, uh, I guess, potential spoilers, as we mentioned earlier. In the game, she does pass away. It's kind of a catalyst, catalyst for Joel oh. um, and Pedro So that's Pascal. why there's so, no recurring. <laughs> there's, yeah, not she's, recurring. A one, she's a one-episoder. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, but yeah, that's sorry, game. Sarah. That sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> she, gets and, the, uh, uh, she gets the boot. <laughs> All right. Good to know. Good to know. Um, right. And then, but, uh, yeah. Then, next up, next up, we have uh, we have David. David uh, is a male, thirty-five to fifty-nine, white uh, or Caucasian, very thin, a charismatic leader of a religious group, uh, and he's set for one episode, February third to March third, March of uh, uh, March third, twenty twenty-two. Say that again, <clears throat> February third to March third, twenty twenty-two. Uh, he's also one of the main act antagonists in the video game. He's the leader of a group of cannibals that Ellie uh, runs into at the Lakeside Resort. He's very skinny. Um, he's very eccentric. As we find out, he's a, a cult leader of cannibals. Oh, so, um, and again, another interesting though that's that's a it's a one episode. You know, in the game, he has a bit of a bigger role. In the show, he won't. <laughs> okay. So, okay, uh, I don't, it sounds like you don't want to run into David. You don't want to run into David because he's okay. manipulative as well. He okay. he kind of tricks Ellie, so it's yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up, we have Bill, a guest star male um, in the fifties range. Uh, Bill is uh, masculine, someone who lived in a bunker and had been, um, you know, closeted most of his life. Uh, he is now living as a gay man with Frank, although by just looking and observing, you would never suspect that he's gay. One episode from September fifteenth, twenty twenty one to October. 
It doesn't specify yes. when in October, but somewhere into October. Hmm. So who, do you know who Bill is? So Bill is uh, apparently a, a, also a big part of the game as well. Uh, he's kind of uh, like a, a, a friend to Joel um, and, and helps lead here. I have it right here. Uh, I'll start over. <clears throat> uh, okay. Yeah. So he's, so yeah, he's another main character of the game. He is the leader of a small town. Uh, he kind of helps Joel in his adventures and journeys along the way. Um, but he does have a, a falling out with, uh, with his partner, um, who we later find out, Frank. Um, so they, right now it says we, he's living with a gay man. That is Frank. But in the games, they fall out. So something's going to happen there probably. Okay. Well, speaking of Frank. Right. Speaking of Frank, Frank is another person they're looking for. Frank guest star, male 40 to 49. Uh, the opposite of Bill. He is out and proud, comfortable in his own skin, and good-looking with good hair. He'll be a silver fox uh, later in life. So uh, he's up for one episode as well, same as as Bill, September 15th through October 13th, to 2021. Okay, uh, so, so maybe, maybe I missed it. Um, so they're, they're probably filming both their scene, their t thing together. So likely, I would assume yeah. that both of, both of them are – September 15th through October 13th. That was my bad. Um, Correct. But yeah, so, so I mean, have you played a lot of this game? What, what's, going, what's going on here? Because it looks like they've changed a couple things, but maybe they're, you know, taking the story and stretching it a little bit. Right. Yeah, it seems that that's probably what they're going to do because, um, you know, while there's probably a good, like, 30 hours, 40 hours of gameplay in those, you know, you got to think obviously for series and seasons and things like that. Yeah. It's going to be expanded. Mm -hmm. um, but I haven't played too much of them. I've played them on my friend's PlayStation and, and little things. Like, it's a, it's a zombie game as well. So I, I like it. I like the idea and the concepts of it. Uh, and from what I've heard about it, um, obviously it sounds like this show is going to be really taking from the first game, uh, mm -hmm. not the second one, which recently came out last year was not very well received. Uh, mm -hmm. so yeah. So that may be another reason too, that they, they'll be able to expand the story outside of that second game because fans were not very happy with, uh, with the story of that second game. Okay. I did not know that. I thought the, they yeah. were both pretty loved. Um, um, it's, it's interesting. It was one of those things where it was kind of split in half, uh, with mm -hmm. critics. Uh, but it was the uh, the fans were pretty, pretty much on the same as they didn't like it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so. interesting. Uh, well, guys, let us know in the comments. Are you excited for this HBO Max adaption of The Last of Us? Because as we know, outside of Netflix, no one's really been able to get that game adaption down pat. Nope. No one. No. Nope. One. Um, it's and, been, and, it's a hard thing. It's a it's yeah. a hard thing to get down, and you know we'll see if HBO will be the ones to uh, HBO and Pedro Pascal, man. Yeah, we'll see yeah. If... Uh, we know that uh, with Mortal Kombat that just came out, um, people were divided. Some people did have a a good time. I myself yeah. included. I had a good time watching the movie, but was it absolutely a pure adaptation? No, no, no. no, they no. added characters and they, they took other characters out. So I'm assuming that this is going to be no exception and that they're right. going to tinker with the story. So don't, if you're going into this expecting that it's the video game, just in a live action, you're yeah. going to get your hopes up and, and you're going to get let down. So yep. go into it with an open mind guys. Um, and I'm sure that the show will do some justices to your fan service moments. Um, yeah. well, that'll be about, that's, that's about it for us today, guys. Make sure to like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to the channel if it's your first time. And again, consider becoming a member of the channel. We'd love to add you to the family. All right, Austin. All right. Hey, we do it for you and we do it for the culture. <laughs>